Uh, Rachel is unwaveringly loyal to her friends and family. She's generous beyond belief. She's kind, she organizes both of our lives. She's, she's caring, she's funny. She's a world-class mediator and she's a soundboard for all of her friends and family. She takes on all of their problems all while managing her own life. <laughs> She's one of the most resilient people that I've ever met um, and she is absolutely bloody relentless. <laughs> I have to put that, I, I've got no other word to describe her really. I found that all of our time together I am always chasing Rachel or trying to catch up. Whether it is climbing up a mountain on a bike ride or just trying to keep up with the day-to-day -day life. Uh, she's pushed me to do things and be where I am today that I never thought I would get to, and I love her for that. Uh, I can't wait to see where the future takes us. So finally, it's rare that you come across a story like ours. Although I always sort of thought there might be a chance, I'm pretty sure Rachel was certain. Do it. I would just like to finish with a little excerpt that we found in Rachel's diary. <laughs> when we were going through some bits a few months ago. It was from May 2005. <laughs> I really do think I love Louis. <laughs> I, I walked past his window on Thursday. <laughs> And he knocked on it, so I went in. <laughs> well, you know what happened from there. <laughs> kiss, kiss. I want to marry him. <laughs> I really do, lol. <laughs>
I will be by your side. I will be. I knew that would happen. I will be by your side. Lovely. You've got to repeat after me, but you've got to be looking at her at the same time. <laughs> Men can't multitask. Bit of, bit of multitasking it's difficult here. for a man. Okay. Do you think you can manage? I'll okay. try. I'll give it a go. Give it a go. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And as a symbol of our marriage. And as a symbol of our marriage. It is therefore my very great pleasure and privilege to declare that you are now husband <laughs> and wife. Thank you. Thank you. Charlotte, Mom and I are immensely proud of you, Rachel, and all you've achieved and, and all you will continue to achieve. You're resilient, determined and tough on the outside, but you're also soft, kind, caring, loving, and you wear your heart on your sleeve on the inside. We shared a very romantic moonlit dinner at Ayers Rock. Well, it would have been romantic, but there was a third wheel. Rachel was there. <laughs> oh well. It was during this time in Melbourne, however, that it became obvious what a great couple they were and they were destined to be together. Who knows, maybe this is all part of the master plan. Please. Little by little, Please. it became more and more apparent that one day they'd be married with children. Please. And who knows, maybe live forever. <laughs> Honestly, there was a lot of Oasis stuff there, come on. Yeah. <laughs> On a serious note, Louis is a great guy and a great friend. I'm lucky to call him best mate. So I thought I should say at least one nice thing about him before I sit down. He takes his job as a teacher very seriously. In fact, he was recently voted sexiest male, I oh know, best male teacher in his school. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I mean, obviously he's the PE teacher, so it's not really a fair contest. Picture in 
my mind Just to keep this moment till the end of time Cause I know that it might be over